Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting. Uh, thank you so much for visiting me today. I've got here this beautiful Atlas book page. And I think that it's the best start for making some kind of travel folio, some small travel folio or maybe pen pal folio if you want to uh, do traveling theme for your pen, pen pal uh, envelopes or folios. So what I would like to do, I've got here a bunch of cards and mini booklets, which I made from my collage paper. I had a few sheets with kind of same design or I mean same colors. So I cut them on pieces and I do have here these booklets. The size is 17 and a half centimeters by nine and a half centimeters in inches. It is just let me have a look six and seven eighths by three and three quarter they are kind of similar ish <laughs> so i'm gonna use this bunch of my booklets and tags like my measurement and i'm gonna start to fold my uh, my beautiful double sided or the double page and I think I want to have this inside and this one outside, I, I'm guessing. So, I would like to create some pockets and maybe some nice openings. I'm going to place my bunch of those cards close to the corner. And I'm going to use my sewing machine. So, I'm going to count, you know, space for my sewing here. And I'm just going to simply fold this one over my these cards and matching the the page here and fold that rest just like this and i'm gonna place it back so here i can create a pocket for this bunch of booklets so that rest I'm gonna wrap around to make sure I will have their pocket big enough to store a bunch of these cards. So I'm gonna wrap it all around and that will be starting of my mini folder or mini booklet. I'm uh, I'm kind of watching those sides to match them to make sure that that folding will be good. And also with this folding, I'm kind of making uh, a little bit bigger space. If you will notice here, I do have kind of like a bigger space to make sure once I will put something inside, I will hopefully have a <laughs> big space to close this. And this one I'm going to keep like it is for now. That will be probably closure. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to open it, take my scissors. And where there is a fold here, I'm going to cut these folds just to that middle fold. I do have cut these uh, folds like this and uh, now i need to extend this one a little bit because here it's not going till the end so i'm thinking i'm gonna take off this one and here i'm gonna just rip it off you can use scissors and cut it straight but i don't mind if that edge will be a little bit ripped off first i'm gonna kind of design the pocket and then I will extend this one here I would like to have two pockets so what I can do I can just fold it this way and I will have pocket here and pocket here or I can cut the part of this one and that's what I'm gonna do this has six and three quarter of inch I'm gonna take my centimeter I'm much more better with centimeters I'm gonna make a mark so first pocket first pocket will be shorter 
that second pocket I wanna make a little bit uh, longer so first pocket this is 17 centimeters so first I will make seven centimeters that next one will be 10 centimeters and here again from that fold seven and here I'm gonna cut it with my scissors this one I can draw here because that will be inside so I'm gonna cut this like this so I will have one pocket and this will go behind so that will be second pocket and this one I think I'm gonna take it off as well so right now I do have one longer here one short and one piece here and I do have those two pieces one I will use uh, here to create pocket from this side and I will use a part of this to reinforce the fold here and I will also reinforce the edge from one side so here one side I'm gonna just fold it by hand I will say about half inch fold and I'm gonna glue it together to reinforce the edge of this pocket so here I'm gonna glue it and I because I would like to have that also sewing uh, effect I'm gonna take my sewing machine and sew here is that reinforced edge so I'm gonna sew here here and here just decorative stitching and I'm gonna do exactly same with this small one so I'm gonna fold it a little bit by hand glue this top and do exactly same stitching so I did a zigzag sewing <laughs> not sewing sewing zigzag sewing all around of those three edges and I also used distress ink from Ranger uh, walnut stain distress ink and I uh, kind of distressed the edges to make them a little bit more visible and darker I'm gonna save those two pieces for now one that large one will be here that smaller one will be here uh, here on this small one it's kind of you know uh, losing that visibility so I'm gonna make it a little bit more visible I'm gonna use this linnet tea dyed paper and I'm just gonna glue that paper on my piece here I will actually use that map as a background for this linnet paper that linnet paper it's I think half inch smaller than is that map on this side or on this this measurement it's half inch smaller here is a little bit longer but I don't mind that will be hidden behind so this way that map will be just like background paper so it will be like this here and here on the top again I would like to use that map as a background holder so I'm gonna use I think this pocket this is my very small collection I do have there one more sheet somewhere here for travelers and I'm gonna cut this this is like pocket so I'm gonna use that hopefully that will be big enough so I did fussy cut out that pocket and before I will glue it down it's actually exact exact size that's good uh, before I will glue it on on my base I'm gonna do that sewing uh, zigzag sewing on this part as well and I'm gonna distress it as well to, to kind of you know match all these together I do have my zigzag stitching here done as well I went a little bit here you know that sewing will reinforce these edges so I'm okay with that so I do have zigzag stitching and I did also that distressing with same distress ink now I can take a glue and glue to that pocket right here like this I'm gonna let it dry and with this I will have one pocket here so my pocket it's holding and now I can work on that rest I do have here the pocket for here and pocket for here I'm not sure if I will place it straight away
I may will. Okay, I'm gonna place a glue. Here will be entry. So I'm gonna place a glue on this side, on the bottom, and on this side. And I'm gonna place my extra pocket here. We'll make sure that it will don't go over those folds here and here. This last fold I can, you know, I can manage that later to kind of, um, oh, how is that right word? To adapt it the book once it will be rolled together so this this fold here i can adapt to the rest of that booklet i'm gonna let it dry here and i will work on this one i'm gonna use my distress ink and to make sure i'm, I'm feeling comfortable with all this i'm gonna use my distress ink and distress all the edges all around so i have distressed from all sides and then now i'm gonna build it up i can uh, extend this pocket i'm gonna take just some tea dyed paper i've got here some left over from from calendar so that will be perfect i guess oh that will be perfect this way oh, i can place it there this way <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna use my uh, page from calendar and reinforce or extend uh, that atlas page with that. I will be missing here small piece, so I will probably make a layers. You don't need that big piece. No, no. I will glue this all piece where I need to put glue. Here is ending my atlas page. So I'm gonna put a glue on that rest, which is supposed to be like underneath. So somewhere here will be finishing my atlas book and I wanna see these. Like a cute embellishment here in this part but i can use that i already uh, fussy cut out those images from my small collection for for travel so maybe i can use something from here why do not use this one i think i can and i'm gonna place it on that corner so i do have extend all this piece and because i didn't glue it everywhere i'm gonna use my sewing machine and do sewing uh, here and around this label and i have used again a zigzag stitching here i did a zigzag from this point to the end of that uh, atlas atlas page and here i did the zigzag stitching around and before I will sew it on these two sides to create a pocket, I'm going to take my uh, atlas page and I will create pocket from here. The part of that atlas page will go over this fold to reinforce it and also make this pocket a little bit shorter because if I will glue it here, it will be kind of long. Here I'm going to use a glue, put a glue <clears throat> on these two short sides and on the bottom of this page and here I will put uh, uh, about one inch I think it was the space which I which I will layer over so it's on the opposite side where I made that uh, fold and I'm gonna put a glue also here where I do have fold here so now i can place my 
atlas page over it the way I think I want it. I think yes, this. So I think my pocket, it's nearly dry. I'm not gonna move it yet properly. I still have space here and I can use maybe some picture from this. And I also glued a strip of from this collection here like decoration you can take some picture something small mm. oh, maybe that boat I think I will need to make it shorter because then when I will wrap it up I don't want to ruin this picture so maybe I can make it a little bit shorter and use it here Okay, I'm gonna decorate this top one before I will sew it. So that uh, that boat or, or that <laughs> that ship, I'm gonna cut a little bit. Not boat, the ship. This is quite bigger. So I'm gonna cut it here, just a slightly to make it a little bit smaller. This fits exactly, so I can place it straight away. So I did cut the boat or that picture. <laughs> to the sides which can fit here I'm gonna put a glue just slightly on three edges and again I will use the stitching this time I will use just straight stitching because I like that look with stitching so I'm gonna put that boat here or that picture of <laughs> that ship <laughs> so pocket will be from here I'm gonna so so this with straight stitching on these three sides and I decided to go with that traveling from the opposite side uh, here so I'm gonna first glue it and then also use the stitching I think because on this side I don't have any stitching so here I will probably use the zigzag stitching and it will be also holder for some tuck. I'm gonna place it there. I do have done stitching the images on those three sides. So as I will have pocket here, pocket here, pocket here and pocket here. I'm thinking to use this also as a pocket from both sides. And I'm gonna use also this sheet. So first I'm gonna kind of unsewn wrap it up. As much nicely as I can at this moment. I like this. Here I'm gonna mark where it's ending and I'm gonna fold it a little bit more inside to make sure that the top piece will be not longer over this edge. It will be somewhere here that will be good. This one I'm gonna use like a pocket from here and this one I would like to use somehow like pocket here I think this way I'm gonna just fold it half glue it together to make it stronger I'm gonna make <clears throat> straight stitching all around and distressed this piece so I do have straight stitching around I did distress it uh, from that travel collection I'm gonna take this label and I will fix it here but before I will fix it I'm gonna put I uh, not eyelets um, brats here so I'm gonna punch those dots to make a holes here I fixed those brats to this label. Now I'm gonna glue it a bit this way. So I'm gonna glue it. Well, I think I'm, I will glue it here on the bottom of that, uh, like on the bottom of that pocket. We'll try to place it in the middle. And I will use also this pocket <clears throat> as a holding for closure. For closure, I'm gonna punch one inch circle. I've got here this piece. Uh, I used 
Serali box which I covered it with the book pages. So first I'm gonna punch the hole three sixteen of inches somewhere on that piece like this. Now I'm gonna take one inch circle punch, place that hole in the middle. I think I'm right there. And here somewhere here, draw inch hole right here and I think it will be good to reinforce it from the bottom I did glue two pages together but still it's just paper so I'm gonna uh, reinforce it a little bit you could hear these uh, plastic reinforcing circles and I'm gonna use one of them and just glue it around from inside of my pocket just like this that will that plastic will reinforce that holding now I'm gonna take my circle one eyelet and this one millimeter elastic cord I'm gonna put my pocket right here where I will sew it later on I'm gonna place the end of that elastic cord here oops I should keep it there right so somewhere in this spot I do have that hole I'm gonna go this way on the end of my of my pocket and go back and right here here I'm holding it with my finger right here I'm gonna cut that should be enough to go around then So I'm gonna take those ends, place them inside. Take my eyelet and that one inch circle and fix it all together. I'm still holding those ends from that elastic cord and now I'm gonna fix it all together. I'm gonna cut off these ends and I hope I said that right that it's one millimeter I hope I haven't said one inch <laughs> it's one millimeter elastic cord I hope I said that right so now I am ready to open this my booklet this will be the top cover first I'm gonna glue it on these three sides and then I will use my sewing machine and I will secure it with zigzag stitching. So I do have uh, zigzag stitching all around. I do have here this cute envelope and I'm guessing I can actually use that. So in the kind of like bottom of this small flap. Uh, I've got here these uh, bits and pieces. I'm gonna do small collage from my bits and pieces so I decided I will glue that envelope with the flap here on this flap like this so then it will be pocket from here and it will be open this way like a, you know unfold or uncover this pocket here so I'm gonna distress it first again I'm gonna use walnut stain for distressing the edges I am going to grab my bits and pieces, literally, <laughs> as you can see, these are bits and pieces from every kind of papers. And I'm going to do small collage here using those bits and pieces. I did my collaging from both sides. Now I am ready to glue this on my flap and place that flap right here. and let it dry here on the back side right here I'm gonna lift this up I think this way and I'm gonna use uh, washi tape as well and it can go to that another part why not now I can take my sewing machine I will wait a little bit once it's dry
Yes, I'm gonna sew with zigzag stitching all around. With the zigzag stitching, I will uh, fix this side and this side. I will go all around this. I will have to uh, keep unfold it this way. Then I will glue it over. I don't wanna sew probably through to here, do I? Or maybe it will be good to have it sewn all. Okay, I'm gonna put that glue and glue it straight away those two sides here and here and glue it right there and now I can go with the zigzag stitching all around I made the zigzag stitching all around of this piece so that way I do have pocket here I do have pocket here now I got cut myself that I just grew it down. I do have pocket here and pocket here. We do have one pocket here. Ah, and this is not glued yet pro pro properly, so I'm just gonna take a small paper. I do have one pocket here, another pocket will be there once it's get glued. There is pocket there behind that, and now. I'm gonna fold this flap before I will uh, I will probably stitch it here uh, but before I will do so I'm gonna take my envelope punch board, uh, envelope punch board crocodile here and I think I'm gonna take my envelope like um, kind of like measurement or navigator one right here and one right here actually I'm gonna punch the hole and fix the eyelet. So punching the hole here and here. I'm gonna fix their eyelets. So I have fixed those eyelets in, on those spots I marked. I do have here this strip. This is kind of like folks leather, and I will go here to the eyelet and outside from this side and here to the eyelet and outside from that opposite side I need to make sure that it's straight like this yes this will go around and this will go over it so these sides I'm gonna try to sew I'm not sure here because I do have that eyelet quite close to the edge so maybe I will don't get there with my sewing machine I don't want to break uh, the needle and I think I'm done with the base for my flopping pen pal thingy or folio I can create some passport I do have here prints from my passport collection so maybe some quickly I'm gonna put together some passport uh, there is so many images and photos and so many of these templates uh, for passports ID cards and also so many ephemeras all around and few different uh, covers so I'm gonna probably do some very quick passports so I made uh, ID like this with few pages and with the cover and I did make this uh, kind of like ID card and I do have few few small digitals which I can place into this small pocket for decorating later this I can place here this I can place right here My ID card can go probably somewhere here, who knows, or I can actually use this front pocket for passport. And this can go still here, and I still have that pocket in there. Oh, I do have those cards. I do have here my cards for notes, so I should try. And they are fitting nicely, so now I can wrap up my mini travel folder. 
close it all together and I'm done I can decorate it a little bit more with you know with some washi tapes and stuff like that but for now that base it's done and I really like it, it it's <laughs> it's kind of fun it does have so many pockets and I like all those openings here and pocket here and I do have there also writing spot I do have here those invitations to hotels I do have here a logbook paper I do have here a picture and picture and ephemeras and this ID and photo and all that stuff I think it's kind of cool to wrap it to that uh, map page so this is my sharing for today i hope you did enjoy it i hope you will try something like this just wrap up pages it's so much fun and to add that those digitals it can be so amazing so now i can just need to find a spot in my journal and i really think i can even add it to this botanical journal because you know as a botanist you can also travel through the world to find some new species you know something new to travel to visit some new places so maybe I can actually place it here can I um, I need some bigger bigger pocket so I'm gonna find my bigger pocket where is it I think it's right here yes and I can slide it there to my big pocket as a travel folder and I can leave it there. It's kind of cool. I like it. So this is my sharing for today. I hope you did enjoy it. Tutorial for this journal. It's now on my Patreon. Including all uh, digital collections. There is also <clears throat> the digital collections for those ID. Uh, build an ID. Also this uh, latest. The travel collection. So it's all on my Patreon. I will probably do some separate video on Patreon because many people are asking me what is Patreon about and uh, what that means. So uh, I will make video separately from this one. This is sharing just about that folder. Thank you so, so much for visiting me today. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. I hope you found some inspiration. Have a beautiful day. Take care about yourself and I hope I will see you soon. Bye.